guys so I have a haul for you today and this is just little bits from here and there there's no big wild splurging going on in my life but I just wanted to show you a few things that I picked up so first of all Scandinavia had a great sale and I found out about this on Nouveau Cheap and if you've never checked out her blog definitely uh, check it out I'll link it down below but it's basically just like drugstore makeup and then really good sales it's all about how to get more for your money and uh, budget friendly makeup items so that's how I found out about this so I would highly recommend her blog and anyway so this is from Scandinavia and Scandinavia is the company that makes all the Urban Decay setting sprays and I'm a huge fan of the All Nighter setting spray so I've always been curious to try them and they're not way cheaper or anything I think they're version of the spray which is right here is 29 and Urban Decay's is 30 so not a huge difference there but the reason I jumped on it this time is because they were throwing in a second bottle for free and there was 10% off and free shipping so it ended up being around $30 for both of these the one that I purchased was the makeup primer spray. I've never tried any kind of primer spray, but this is supposed to be oil control. So after you put your moisturizer or sunscreen on, you spray some of this and then apply your makeup and it's supposed to keep your face matte all day. So I thought that would be good to try over the summer. And then for free with any purchase on the site, you got a full size of their classic makeup setting spray. So I got both of these for $30. So that's cool. I'm excited to try those. And then also, I got from L'Oreal their setting spray, their Infallible Pro Spray and Set, which comes in a larger size for $16. But then I saw this, and this was a little mini one for $8, which is way too much, uh, but it's not $16. So now I suddenly have a lot of sprays to put on my face. But I am curious because if this is good, then this is about a little over half the price of either the Scandinavia or the Urban Decay. So it's a good value if it works. So I will let you know. I got another Definiseals waterproof from Sephora. And this is my favorite mascara in the entire world. And I love it. So I got that. This is probably the third or fourth tube of this that I've purchased. And it's in the color black. And then with this, the gift with purchase that I got was this Murad Acne Clearing Solution. And it's a, it comes in this envelope. It's foil packets, but it's a lot. You get three packets. And they say that it's enough for morning and night for three days. I stretched it to about four or five days when I got it the last time. And I wanted to get it in because I really felt like this helped. Uh, I don't have huge acne problems all the time but I do have some hormonal flare-ups here and there and and so I wanted to have another one of these so that the next time that I can feel that coming on I could use it because I think it's really good for prevention and also for clearing up what's already going on so I would consider getting a full size of this but I did want to give it another round before I did that and also this was free also from Sephora um, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, but I hadn't I haven't done a haul in a while. I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. And this is because I just uh, I don't have a good solid powder foundation right now. So I decided to get this one and I haven't used it enough to really know how it's working yet, but I will keep you updated. I do not like the packaging because Usually the finger people are always talking about the fingerprints thing, the fingerprints, and that doesn't usually bug me, but for some reason on this, because it's a compact and I know I'm going to be handling it so much, I just wish that it wasn't this mirrored kind of thing, so that it would just look nice because, you know, I spent a good amount of money on it, and it was a little bit of a splurge, and I just wanted to look as cool as, like, my Urban Decay, uh naked palettes. Like I wish it was that kind of tin instead of this like shiny shiny plastic. Anyways, nail stuff. So I went to Harmon Face Values because when I was at Sephora getting one of these things, 
I was looking at the Deborah Lippman nail kits and they are so expensive and I was thinking, you know, I'm sure that I can find these things for cheaper. And also, well let me back up. So I pick up my nails and I bite my nails and I always have and it's just a really frustrating habit that I've always had and so my hands always kind of hurt uh, from picking and biting at them. So I was thinking, well, I should get one of those like cuticle care kits or nail care kits. But the thing is, I don't trust myself to use it. So what I did is I went to Harmon Face Values and I found two things. So this is from Creative Nail Design and it's their Solar Oil Nail and Cuticle Conditioner. And this is what the box looks like. It was $9.00. And then this is what the actual product looks like. And it's just an oil that you brush onto your cuticles and then kind of rub it in. And the idea for me is to carry this around and use it all the time. I did it for a couple days, and then I didn't, then I did. So still seeing if I can um, get in this habit instead of the biting my nails habit. But the reason I picked this one is because a lot of the cuticle oils, like this, a lot of the Sally Hansen ones and other ones, they had alcohol in them and um, other things that it might feel moisturizing when you first put it on, but then ultimately it was going to dry it out. Whereas this one actually has some really nice oils in it. So yeah, so that's the Creative Nail Design Essentials Solar Oil. And then I also just picked up some nail care sticks. These were 99 cents. But this is just um, to help me try to be more careful about the way that I trim and care for my cuticles. And this is from Harmon Face Values as well. And then I went to Urban Outfitters. I went to the one on like around 32nd and Broadway. It's near Herald Square in Manhattan. And it's a huge location and they have a huge beauty and skincare section and a lot of Korean skincare brands and makeup brands. So I took a look around there and I found an incredible sale section. Uh, so I got this. This is from the face shop and this is Calming Seed Mild Bubble Foaming Cleanser. And this is a lot in here. Let me see. It's five ounces of cleanser. Here it is. And the original price on this was $20, and I got it for $2, $1.99. So that was an amazing deal. Then I got this. This is also from the face shop, and it is a blush in number 01 Pink Glow. And it was originally $10, and I got it for $4.99. Here it is. So it's very, very pale color. Um, but there was an open one there, and I think it's just a really, oh, it's really pretty. It's kind of like one of, like, the way the light hits the shirt, it's a similar idea. So this is a really beautiful kind of highlighty blush. So that was cool. And I also love how small it is. And then this oil, which uh, this was the real huge deal. This is from Wild Honey Apothecary in Wisconsin, and it is a rose oil. Coco La Rosa rose oil, and it just has oils in it. Um, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, aloe vera, rose auto. Palma Rosa and Coco Absolute. And this was originally $54 and this also was $199. So great deal on that. And I've lately I've just enjoyed putting oil uh, all over my face. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. And then I got one full price thing from Urban Outfitters as well. This is the returning starfish eye cream from Mizan, which is a Korean skincare brand. And this is what the jar looks like. It's maybe the cutest jar I've ever seen. And this is supposed to have in it polymers from starfish that are what help them regenerate themselves. And so it like pulls itself together. So I don't know, it's supposed to tighten you up. Hi kitty! 
it's supposed to just tighten up around the eye area and also other areas where you may have fine lines. And it comes with a little spatula so that you don't have to put your finger in here. So anyway, I'm not sure. I tried this a couple times. I think it might have upset my eyes. So I'm going to try it one more time and then I might be bringing that one back. But I hope not because it's so cute. Really, really cute. And this was 32 And then my mom sent me a package and it had her birthday gift from Sephora in it because she didn't want it. So thanks mom. And it was a mini mascara. The Smoky Extravagant Mascara and then a little mini lipstick. So that's it. That's my haul. Just a couple things I picked up here and there. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.